today will mark five years since Tamir Rice was killed outside a Cleveland rec center. And today his family is announcing the creation of the Tamir Rice Legacy Fund. Make sure it's live in Cleveland. Meg, the family wants to honor his life. Yeah, Tamir Rice's mother, Samaria, says their goal with this legacy fund is to keep Tamir's memory alive and to one day open a cultural center. The family says they want to create a space that would offer artistic, educational and civic youth programs to celebrate African-American history. On November 22nd, 2014, the 12 year old was shot and killed by Cleveland police. He was playing with an airsoft pistol that had the orange safety cap removed. Someone called 911 believing that pistol was real. The tragic shooting became a turning point for the Cleveland Police Department and race relations in Northeast Ohio. Within two years, the Department of Justice found a pattern of excessive use of force and put a monitoring team in place. A benefit luncheon is scheduled for noon today to raise awareness about that cultural center. Then tonight at six o'clock uh, details and a plan for that cultural center will be uh, shared at an event at the Cleveland Museum of Art. Again, that starts at six o'clock. It is free and open to the public. Live in Cleveland, Meg Shaw, News 5. Meg, thank you.